All right, stream is starting. All right. Hopefully you don't crash. <laughs> right? I see us there, so there you go. Yep. All right. Are we live on Twitch yet? You are. Yep, you okay, are. Cool. We can see you. Awesome. Welcome, everybody. Uh, first, let me start straight off. Angel Bunny, thank you for the follow. I don't want to forget that. And welcome, everybody who is watching. I uh, just want to say that uh, this is the very first stream, so there may be some issues here and there, so if you'll bear with us. This is a very old computer. I built it in 2005, so I'm doing with it what I can. Uh, but we're going to get this show on the road. The topic of discussion today is going to be our favorite anime of all time. I've asked uh, Rasp and Denta to come up with their top ten, but we're only going to cover the top five. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that they had enough in their list to to go over. Uh, so we're gonna that's what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, we're gonna save our number one top pick though for the very end. So guys, share your save your number one until the end, and we'll we'll go over that. Okay. But the um, number one though. <laughs> which one to pick? Which one to pick? Yeah, uh, it's like hard. <laughs> Uh, I, was okay, like, I, I was looking at the list. I'm like, there's like over 9,000 enemies out there. How uh, did yeah, you yeah, yeah. one? <laughs> and yeah, I, luckily I've, I don't know if it's luckily or not, but I have, um, I've only been watching anime since about 2009. So still for the last 10 years, and that's a lot of anime to cover just in that time frame. And uh, Rasp, I know you're, you've been watching anime longer than that. And Denta, probably you have too. I have rig not. Rig oh, you have not. Oh, okay. I have not. Um, well, in that but case, both. maybe I'll be in the running. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, is that yes, I, I liked anime, but where I grew up at, the uh, it was very repressed culture. So, anime was like underground tape trading. Because you know, uh -huh. <laughs> well, it's kind of like your porn. You know, you just, yeah. here, here's my oh, mixtape. Don't tell anybody where you got don't it. Don't tell anybody where you got this. You know, <laughs> go with me. I've like... never had this before. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, me, I live in Belgium, and I'm still young. So I only uh, things I was Pokemon and and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh that was on TV, but it was all dubbed in Dutch, and I did not know it was the difference between cartoon and anime back then because I was like 10 years old so yeah <laughs> and that's probably one of the topics that'll come up during the discussion today i know pre-show we we've been talking about it you know what would you consider this anime or would you consider that not anime um so we'll uh we'll i'm sure that'll come up um in my list i don't think i've got any that weren't on the you know what people recognize officially as being anime but there are a couple that i would consider anime that aren't officially recognized as such uh not in my list but some that i would say is but others say aren't uh, so that that to me is a matter of opinion in in some cases um denta let's start with you uh what what's one of your top anime oh mahoka kakunora zeti i'm probably butchering that name though but <laughs> what what uh, does it have an English name that it goes by? Uh, it probably does, like Magical High Schools, blah, blah, blah. Let me look it up real quick. What, the, what's it about? Because I, I don't the, remember. Irregular at Magic High School. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I that It's not on my list. Did they ever come out with a second season to that? No, but they're planning to. They brought out one movie, and they're planning a next season for next year, for 2020. Oh, awesome. So I'm actually excited about that because I enjoyed the anime a lot. The movie was okay-ish, but like the new season, like, oh, that should be interesting. I wasn't even aware that they came out with a movie. How long has that been out? Uh, it's been out since 2017. <laughs> okay, well. So a little I'm bit over to, two years. <laughs> I know what I'm doing after the podcast today. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Yeah, that was a, a great one. I kept waiting for the second season, and it never came, and it never came, and I was like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Like so many so anime, sad. they're awesome anime, and then they just never come back, and you're like, what the heck? Indeed, and right now, they do not know how many episodes or when exactly it's going to air, but it's 2020. So hopefully somewhere next year it will be coming out, and gotcha. hopefully fast. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's about, it's, uh, well, it's in the future, people uh, found out, well, learn magic, but it's like all technology-based magic in a way. Mm -hmm. Like, they use that to uh, go further in technology magic, not like sci-fi, uh, knights, magic, is in a way, but like, they use guns, but then with magic implemented into it and all that stuff. And, uh, well, the main character has problems with his family. A lot of stuff happens. He lives together with his sister. He goes to a magic school, and he has an uncover identity, and a lot of stuff, stuff going on. He's like an OP character. I might even say the most. He might be the most OP character in anime. Uh, <laughs> one punch no, man. One punch man. No, no. no one punch man. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> there, there's no. one that's there's a, one that I can speak to that's definitely the the most uh, in my well, opinion. But, <laughs> yeah, but like he has, he has an ability they can. Well, I'm not gonna like if I say it like without well, actually spoil it, spoil it, but I might say yeah. like I might think he might be one of the more powerful anime like, characters in the anime. <laughs> actually, I, I, I okay, that's... I could go with that, but the most OP, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has abilities that could actually take out anyone if he if he wants to. <laughs> I'll, well, we'll have to see how it turns out because I'm I'm still waiting. Like uh, like Rasp was Satan saying, um, it One Punch Man, he uh. You know, the whole premise of the show is it he's the most OP. Thing. Yeah, but yeah, but he needs to be able to get that one but one punch off. But what if he can not even get close? Huh? Well, at the end he of the very first the season of One Punch, <laughs> he, he he had to fake like he was having a good fight. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, but I know it's a uh, statement, but I think he's up there. <laughs> well, yeah, that, up there, definitely. What you believe? Okay. Very well, could be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Rasp, what is one of your, your tops? Oh, let's see. I have so many here. I have a list of like 20 <laughs> things. I'm trying to tear it down to the top 10. So, uh, I, I will go with like one that's uh, fully coolie because fully coolie. FLCL. And it's one of those animes that came out on like uh, Toonami and stuff like that. And if you're just flipping through on Cartoon Network and seeing this thing, you would stop and go, what the hell is this? I have no idea what's going on here, but it's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's one of those things you just go through and it's like, you know. Like, is it kind of like premise... hilarious or? Uh outrageous hilarious it, it's just okay there's an overall arcing story but how they get from one point to the next point to the next point is outrageous you know it, it's one of those things that you uh you know really have to see it yeah the new two follicle wasn't as good as the sec the first one but i i would have to say that uh fully cool you'd probably be in the top my 10th one okay uh, let's see for me uh i'm gonna have to pick uh well you know what since we've uh we've already discussed it um in my top five would be one punch man <laughs> uh, i'm just okay. gonna go ahead and put it out there now yep. um mainly because well it, it uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I, I enjoyed it the first run through, um, but then my uh, youngest son also got into it. So we just recently rewatched it and had a good time. So there's that sentimentality there, too. But just as as far as the anime itself goes. That just the absurdity of it all. <laughs> it makes it makes fun of itself and the anime 
it, genre it, itself. It, it does. It does. And that's what I think makes it so endearing. Um, the, the fact that all he does is, you know, a few sit-ups and a few push-ups and runs however far, you know, in a day for training. And but that's just typical high school training stuff. But yet that's how he got so powerful. <laughs> um, that that to me puts it in in there. And it just yeah, like I said, just the absurdity of it all. But Mike, is it the first season or both seasons? Uh, and that was the first season that I watched. Now, we just recently caught up, I think, through the second season. Is the third season out yet? No, okay. no, the second season came out like a few months ago. So yeah, well, we, we binge watch that when, when sitting here one day. We or actually, I guess it was over a couple of days because we had to eat. You know, and there was a, the sleeping part in there too somewhere. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But I, I enjoyed the the second one too. But the first one is the one that really kind of sucked me in the first season. But enjoying it still so far, still just okay. as absurd as it was. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I didn't know that See, the, with season two, they went more for like a, a, a world building instead of like just following One Punch Man. Yes. So, yes. I'm, I'm so waiting to see. Making, they're like trying to make it more into an actual anime. So just like a, a comedy Yeah, it was show. supposed to be in one shot and that was it. And then it was so popular that we're, they're like, oh, we have to like actually develop let's, this story. Yeah, let's, let's capitalize on this. There's money to be had here. Yeah, that's yeah, why but you, don't forget. The the studio who made the first season is a different studio from the, the second season, and also the writer is a different person. Yep. <laughs> so uh, it's com almost completely all different people that made a second season. I, I, I did still enjoy the second season, though. Definitely. Uh, Arcane yeah, Bunny, I, I didn't want you to think that I was ignoring your chat at all, too. Um, and as far as if it wasn't from Japan, it's not anime. That is the, I guess, the official... That's the debate we were having earlier. <laughs> yeah, the, the official. The what, official. What, what do we include? What do we don't include into this? Um, and uh, and and like I said, that that that's the official stance. And my personal stance, it's it's more the aesthetic. Um, anime has a certain feel to it, and if it can be if it can be captured, then me personally, I would consider it an anime. But it that's uh that's that's just one one guy's opinion. Uh, Denta, what's your next pick? My next pick, mm, I guess I'm gonna go with Gintama. Gintama? Gintama. Like it's um, it's a long. Like I think four episodes long. There's a couple of different seasons in it. Yep. But the comedy is amazing. Like at first, it's like getting used to it. Like okay, it's it's okay, decent, but it gets better and better comedy wise. And I would say the first, I would say twenty to forty episodes, there's like no story. Like it's just pure comedy. But then the story comes in, and you start getting a little background, one arc there, one arc there, and the story itself is amazing. And like I don't to say, yeah, go on. I was gonna say, how is that spelled? Because that's one that I hadn't heard of. Uh, Gin Tama. G I N and Tama. Okay, I'll be looking that one up. What's the uh, the basic? Uh... Well, it's uh, Edo in Japan, and uh, aliens took over the world. <laughs> oh, okay, so yeah. it's a little bit more futuristic, but it's also like samurai still, and we just katanas and stuff like that. And but then there's also aliens. Uh, real guns, other races, more powerful races, and stuff like that. And then, uh, still like anti government forces, you got uh, government forces. It's like a little bit like uh, some of the historic forces are brought into the anime. Like, you have a, a police force that was actually a real thing back in the day in Japan, they put it in there. Kind of funny, also with an anti-government. After they become became more, uh, well, they wanted to get rid of the samurai. They put also like the anti-government thing in there, but then also with aliens. And in the background, it's a lot of stuff happening. At first, you will not see a story at all. I promise you that. But it becomes better and better after a while. Even though it's like the first twenty, thirty episodes, pure comedy, then a little bit of story. But then it actually starts happening after episode 100 and they start seeing flashbacks and and more story and all that and progression in the characters and all yeah 
Okay. Oh, the action scenes it has, like, you know, when you get, like, so excited about something, you start, like, sweating, like, oh, shit, what's going to happen now? That's the kind of anime, like, that's the kind of action it has in Gintama. Okay. And, and also, some of the comedies, like, you just start crying or, like, having stomach problems because of laughter. <laughs> so right. it is definitely, definitely in my top five. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm How do we go from top ten to top five? Then all of a sudden, I'm like, what? Well, that's what I said <laughs> in the beginning. I, yeah, I had, I had you pick top, the, your favorite ten so that we could yeah. at least have five. Okay. Um, because because I'm but, like still sitting here on like my number nine pick here. It seems like oh, <laughs> top five. Well, well, jump, well, jump. <laughs> okay, well then, real quick, what what would have been your your top if if you picked? 10 is your first one to go with. What uh, would have yeah. been your top five? Uh, top five? Or yeah, top, what, what would have been five of 10. your top five? Six to 10. <laughs> one being the best. <laughs> yeah, well, you said save the one for last. So that's, yeah, that's yeah, what one I'm being doing. the best. What would be in your five slot? Oh, uh, five slot? Soul Eater. That was a good one. I enjoyed that Soul one. Soul Eater was my number five pick. Okay. As I really enjoyed that one. It was uh, very different at the time when it came out. I um I almost had it in my top ten. It ended up getting pushed out. Mm. Um, but yeah, it, it was definitely in my top ten. Yeah, at Soul one Eater. Point. <laughs> Soul Eater was. It. You dropped it. Oh, yeah. yeah. After twelve <laughs> episodes, like I'm like nah, not for me. Well, we should probably <laughs> go through like a quick list of our honorable mentions, probably. Okay, yeah, we can we can do that. We can do that. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we have a long list of stuff, and, you know, we are sitting here going, yeah, they are, they are, they are. these are really yeah, good, I've, but it's not our top, top ones. I've got a, I've got a few honorable mentions. Uh, what, what were your, give me three honorable mentions. Okay, so my honorable mentions would be Trigon. Okay. Uh, Naruto. Okay. And fairy tale. Solid those choices. Would, those would be my three honorable mentions if I had, you know, three of hmm. them. Denta, how about you? I would say Thing in Top of Gurun Legun. Samurai Champlu. Okay. Oh, let's see. <laughs> 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 it's hard. It's- Oh, then I'm maybe darker than black the first season. Darker than black? <laughs> yes. Another one I hadn't known. The about. first season, though. The second season is crap. <laughs> it's actually like... No, no, we can't go into seasons and be like, oh, well, you know, this Yeah, it's got to be an season. overall kind of thing. It's got to be overall thing. Oh, but that's so much difference, though. Like, <laughs> the first season is got it's, to... this is, it's like the whole anime, you know? Is the whole yeah, concept like, of this. <laughs> like that's why you I didn't. That's why go, I didn't think oh, enough. watch this season, but don't. That's why Bleach is not in my thing because you know at first Bleach was great and then it just kind of really petered out. So that's why Bleach is not on my list here. Yeah. So pick another one. Uh pick another one. Let's see. Uh then probably Mushishi. Mushishi. I can, I'm probably butchering it right again, but like I do like the story, like the little stories, like episodic based stories. Uh, like I, I enjoyed it. It's been a while since I watched it though, but I remember it, like, damn, this anime is good. <laughs> <laughs> and like it gives a good atmosphere. The art is, I would say, really good. Really good. And actually, like, it took me with it on the adventure of Musishi, the boat seasons, because there's two seasons of it. <laughs> awesome. So I would say that's my herbal mention. Okay. okay. And Archangel Bunny in chat here, she has uh, Planetes, uh, Roka no Yusha, and Sket Dance. Okay. okay. Three of missions. which I'm not familiar with. I'm going to have to. Roka no Yusha is a good one. Skid Dance is, I'm not mistaken, a comedy show, and Plenty's, I have no idea. 
So three more. And that's one reason that I wanted to do this podcast on here uh, as far as anime goes, because I'm always looking for new stuff to watch. Um, my honorable mentions would be Inuyasha. Um, the only reason I bring that up is because it's always going to have a, a, a soft spot in my heart for it, because that was the first anime that when I found out what anime was, <laughs> I mean, Rob, I'm, I'm going to bring something up we discussed pre-show. Uh, in a minute. Um, but Inuyasha was the first anime back in 2009, the series that I got into. Um, the next one would be uh, Rorin, Ro, I always have trouble with the first word, Roruni Kenshin, the mm -hmm. one we talked about earlier. Uh, it was the third uh, anime that I ever watched. Um, and, and I believe I it was on live TV at the same time. Um, maybe. As in um, Yasha 2 at that time. And I think I caught it just as the uh, as it was ending. And I, I remember binge watching it all. Because Adult Swim did anime back then. And, and that was uh, one of the two shows that were on at that time. Um, and let's see. My... Ooh, what do I want to pick? Um, <laughs> the of of my honorable mentions. Mm, I'm only going to pick this because it was in in my last year. It would have been in the number the number eight spot. Uh, Black Butler. Um, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that that's that's got to be in my in my honorable mentions. It was another one that was I don't want to say it was necessarily uh, dark or sinister or whatever like that, because um, it definitely had its lighter minute moments um, or actually a lot of it was lighter. And as far as like his his fiance, <laughs> whenever he had to deal with her. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that one, too. But it just didn't quite make it into my top 10. Um, now, my number one fell right in around the same era as Inuyasha and Kenshin. Uh, so, but I'm going to save it until later to, to bring up. Um, all right. Let's see. Raskard, what, uh, since, since mm -hmm. we kind of jumped around there, you would have been next on what would have been your, in your top five, you know, top five. well, yeah. let's see. I already did my top five. Well, you know, number five was soul leader. Uh, okay. Okay. So, Number but, four, I'm I'm going yeah. to like you know, go out here and go for something a little bit different. Um, Daft Punk put out a movie called Interstellar Five 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 Five. That How was many fives is that? Four fives. <laughs> four fives. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. And it is a animation movie put put out by Toei for this album. And there's no you know really no. You know, uh, the music tells a story as it's going. And I always thought that was one of the best things and still one of those things that, you know, I just put on the background in, or on the uh, second screen here and watch sometimes. Okay. And enjoy the music. Kind and, of the, uh, the, the anime version of uh, The Wall? Kind of, kind of like that. It's uh and for you know, for those of y'all who aren't familiar, Pink Floyd was a band once. And <laughs> <laughs> it was a see. band once. <laughs> and and oh. they had this album called The Wall, and they did this whole animation movie. Um a well, live action based, animation movie. Yeah, based on on their on their album. album. And it, mm -hmm. it was uh very, very um you didn't watch it sober. Yeah, yeah, that was. I still remember that it used to be a thing. <laughs> very trippy. Okay, people, people yeah, would have yeah, a little yeah, bit too much You said the word right there. Go and watch the laser show with that going but, on. But we're we're not going to endorse that or anything like that. No, no. <laughs> it <laughs> but, was a different uh, time. <laughs> it is a bit different time in the seventies, you know. <laughs> Um, the seventies. <laughs> oh, the seventies. Twenty years before I was born. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Uh, Denta, what would fall in uh, in your next slot? Oh, I would say Hagra Yusha no Estetica. Yeah, look up the English Aest title real yeah, quick. Aesthetics of something. Yeah, Estetica of a Rogue Hero. 
Yes, that is a good one too. That you know what for me, that one fell kind of along the same lines as um it, it, if if I had to pick between the two, it would have been a tie between it and uh the irregular at Magic High School. Yeah. Or Thank Magic you. School, whatever. Um but it's yeah, like what was action. it about it that you like? Oh uh, well I well, I just enjoyed it. Like I was I watched this back in well when i was around 15 16 so that's kind of part of it it's like very edgy okay <laughs> uh, but anyway like i like enemies with overpowered characters in it and yeah like i'm still actually waiting for a next season because they still didn't bring a new season or a new movie or whatever so but and that one's been out for it. a couple years too right yeah 2012 <laughs> oh yeah yeah it's like yeah <laughs> it's like yeah it's never gonna happen but uh, yeah, why, well, why, why do they do this? They hook us and then they leave us high and dry. And there's so many anime out there that do that. Yep. To us. It's mm -hmm. uh, because of money. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Or, or issues like, let's say, Log yeah. Horizon. They did tax evasion. And uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, that's why they could not make a new season. They're going to do it in the future, though. But that's a different story. But about this one, uh, Rook Hero. I, one, I like overpowered heroes when it's edgy. I do like it. And I do also like the story, though. Like, you go to a, an isekai, so like in our world, where you become a hero, and then you come back to the world, to world where you were before Earth, but you still have your powers from the other fantasy worlds. And you get enrolled into, like, a high school, and you get put into a class on grade, how good your powers are. And there's, like, a lot of mystery but well, with people that are, like, managing the world, mystery there. Some other... Well, organizations in the background. A lot of mystery that did not they did not give enough information about, but mm. like it's a very I would say it's a good build for the next seasons that are never gonna come. Yeah. And yeah, it, yeah I I really enjoyed that one too. I I'd actually forgotten about that until you brought it up and it probably <laughs> would have made it into my top ten had I remembered it. Uh, guys, it, yeah. you know, just for you know, idea's sake, after we're uh -huh. done saying our picks, we should uh, go ahead and put them in chat. That way, you know, the Whoa. people in chat can sit there and see the words that we're butchering horribly, <laughs> <Can't wait. laughs> and so, be able okay. to copy and search for it themselves. That is okay, a so, very good idea. So I'll so. put my f the first pick I had with a uh, regular high school, Gintama, and the Rogue Hero. I'll put that in chat now. Okay. Yeah. Um yes. if you can uh yeah for there shit didn't I, I well, would consider bad. myself a fan but not an expert. So I tend to go by the English names. So if you can if you happen to know the English name of it well, too. I got a better idea. I'll just link you to my anime list links of this of those enemies. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, if you'll link it to me, I'll throw it up in chat. I'm I'm drawing it up in so, chat. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, okay. So, Mike, what oh is your God. number four pick anyway? Um, my number four pick would be. Ooh, I'm gonna have to rearrange my my picks here. <laughs> yeah, um, see? yeah, yeah. You sit there, you know, you threw, threw a monkey wrench in the list here, so it's like, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to flip flop them around. Um, my my number four pick. Uh, would be uh, My Hero Academia. Mm. Um, okay. Yeah, it. Uh, I know it's still ongoing, but mm -hmm. it. Um, there's uh, uh, the only drawback that I have to that particular pick is um, the fact that there are a few episodes that move rather slowly, mm. um, but the the whole you know upcoming hero with the mentor who doesn't quite have it, has it, but only for short periods of time, you know, mm -hmm. as far as their abilities go and, and just overcoming those things and him coming that the main character coming from a, you know, no, no talent at all. And then being bestowed the talent. Um, for, for those of y'all who aren't familiar, um, basically it, it revolves around superheroes and there's a, a character, pretty much everybody has some sort of talent except this guy. 
and he wants to well, be. He has a room. heart of the hero. Yeah, he's he's got a, he's got a big heart, definitely. Um, always wanted to be a hero. Always looked up to his mentor growing up, up to his teen years, and um, then finally gets bestowed powers to become a hero. But he has to learn how to use them, um, and him just learning how to how to deal with it. Uh, there's there's something about the underdog story that has always appealed to me. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I think that's what, what really pulled me in and, and has that in my, my top four there. Hey, that's actually okay. one of my number two, but, uh, okay. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's also the fact that he's learning to deal with his newfound power. So, you know, you've been gifted ultimate cosmic power. <laughs> How do you yeah. deal with that? You know, yep. you're, Body has to just he has to adjust everything he does mm -hmm. uh, the, without the whole hurting things process. around, you know. So for it, himself. there's another story in there just for the, the control factor and how he controls his powers mm -hmm. and his interaction with others and how he goes from you know his friends that knew him before he had powers and now he has powers. How does that affect their relationship? It, for me, it, it it takes me back. Uh, it takes me back to the eighties when uh, when oh. coming up. Well, here, it, we yeah. we had all sorts of movies. Of, like, <laughs> this is going know. way back, but it, it all of my favorite movies. It seemed were always the underdog, the guy who didn't know anything, went through the training process, and then came out of it, you know, just bad to the bone. Well, you have uh, the Karate Kid. Which is now continued. I was going to say Kai. most of them are martial arts movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, martial arts was a big thing back then. Mm -hmm. But we had, you know, uh, lots of movies with uh, Van Damme had movie came out. Oh yeah, um, Bloodsport. Um, yep. you, there was uh, several Jackie Chan movies uh, when mm -hmm. he was coming up. Um, yeah, well, there was the whole. I don't know about in y'all's neck of the woods. Here we had um, every. I think it was every Saturday afternoon we had something called Black Belt Theater. Yep. And yeah, like I said, most of them were martial arts movies where it was this guy who was getting bullied, who would learn martial arts, he would become better than everybody else, and not necessarily get revenge, but definitely stop the bullying. Yep. And we had the whole uh, meme of '80s montage training montage. It's just the yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair, it's still happening in anime. Our memes be before memes. <laughs> yeah, there's something to be said for the for the underdog movie or the underdog story, and and that's what that you know brings mm -hmm. My Hero Academia right up there to the forefront for me. Mm -hmm. And also for anime, that's mostly called shonen, just from zero to a hero, like the it, way of it. So yep. I'm going to replace my number two now since you, you covered that one. <laughs> <laughs> well no, you don't have to. You don't have to. That's the thing. Uh, uh, I'm going to put something else in there, though. <laughs> okay, well, fine. That's your choice. Um, and yeah, the, the same one, the, the new series we talked about pre-show with the, um, uh, from, what is it? From Something to Most Powerful. It, it just came out. Oh, on yeah. Um, Something like that. And then it's from, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll forever, from Commonplace. Yeah, from most, Commonplace to the World's most Strongest. The World's Strongest. There yeah. you go. Uh, another right along those same lines. Yeah. All right. Uh, what you got there, uh, oh. Kenta? Like right now, I'm, I'm in a, like this decision, though. My first spot and second <laughs> spot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You can do it. Like, it, I have a feeling like I have one anime that probably everybody know. And I want anime that's probably a little bit more to the underdog, but it's still, like it's it's they're really good. So I guess I'll go with my number two pick, Cowboy Bebop. Yep, that's a good one. And that's I one that I have that never one. watched. It's been out. I've been one. aware of it. Okay. Well, it was in my top ten, but it was like you know cut, so to speak. Here. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, it's one I love jazz, hip hop. Like I. I just love the kind of music they use in it, mm -hmm. so that's only like a very good part for me. Yeah. I and the fighting styles, like they actually took fighting, like they actually watched martial artists and they took that and they took real styles and well made that into the animation of it. So they yeah. took actually worked with real life art, like martial artists, to put that into the anime. 
and I would say their story itself it's very good, very good writ- written, and like I would, I would I can still watch it like over and over again if that was like the only anime I could choose to watch. And this was so Cowboy Bebop. Bebop. Yeah. Let me link that in chat to you. Are your links showing up in chat? I, I don't uh, see his links. It's all blocked no? for me. Alrighty. Oh, rip. <laughs> um, link them to me, link, Denta. You can, and... you can, uh... Okay. I'll put them in podcast chat. Otherwise. Okay. Okay. All right. So everything, well, can we bebop and everything? So blue we are what, with number two now? Yeah. So oh, that's going quick. Two. <laughs> okay, so number two was My Hero Academia, right? Uh, but uh, since but Mike already covered that, yeah, I'm going to go replacing to it. a... I'm going to go to uh, one that I've been watching a long time. A very, very long time. Yeah, um, Archangel uh, Bunny um, mm-hmm. brought up a good point. We're on, we're on our top three. Three, three, yeah. three. Okay, three. Okay, three. Three Wait, would be. No, we're not. We're not. <laughs> like, I've <laughs> done. I've done. Gintama, I've done Gintama. Then my second spot was Kabu Biba. Then was Hakura Yusha no Aesthetica and regular high school. Okay. Well, then you you went out of turn. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> when? <laughs> when? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, I'll, I'll take I'll take another one, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so number three would be Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell. Oh, was, that is uh, a good one. Yeah, one of the ones that really got me into like cyberpunk and science fiction, and really in the uh, backwoods area that I was, you know, got me interested into technology and looking at computers as more than just, you know, a thing that's in front of me. More than just a PC? Yeah, well, or, just or a, Mac? A, a magical box that does things for me. It right. actually got me thinking in how does this thing work and, you know, you know, and, you know, are we, you know, start making me think, you know, are we just ghosts in our own bodies, you know? What is a soul, so to speak? It, it definitely has some uh, make you think moments. Mm-hmm. If if you really take the time to to examine yeah, it, a and, bit. and you coming up with our new, uh, you know, this age when we have AIs starting to come evolve, and we have our first AI human, you know, citizen. Now, mm-hmm. you know, it's. Coming up more and more, you know, is it AI? Does it have a soul, or is it just programming? Do are we soul? Are we, you know, just yeah. programming? Is it is so. it truly alive? It kind of. Uh, did yeah. you see the? Um, it was a Robin Williams movie. Uh, um, Millennial Man. Yeah, uh, yeah same was, same uh, questions posed there. Yeah, yeah, same questions there. That was a great movie, uh, but you know. Ghost in the Shell was the start for me. Awesome. That definitely... What did you think of the movie? Ghost in the Shell movie? I loved it. The life action? Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. Uh, I understand why there's a lot of backlash against it, because it wasn't following the anime or the uh, manga to thing. But I understand what they were going for. They were trying to condense a lot of story into a very short window. One of those they didn't expect to make another one, so they're going to take everything, kind of mishmash yep. it all up, and and make one movie kind of thing. Yep, because they they kind of figured they wouldn't get a second shot at this, and they had a lot of stuff to explain that was explained in you know years of manga, years of anime, and you know they had to explain it to a general, uh, a general. Uh, Audience that audience. had never seen it before, right? So there was a lot of things that they didn't go deep into or didn't cover, um, and there's a lot of background that they just put pushed out. Gotcha. But, what do y'all think about uh, brought up in chat here? Um, the fact that they cast Scarlett Johansson, um, a a 
Caucasian female in in the lead role as opposed to an an Asian female, or no. just the cast in general as as it was brought up, they whitewashed it because that was a huge controversy as the as the movie was coming out. Yeah. Well, to me, I mean, you have you need star power, right? But we don't really have an Asian female star that we could put in there. That um, would. Well, was it the girl from Charlie's Angels? <laughs> is she? Yeah. If um, she's available, you know, Lucy Liu. Yeah, that was trying yeah, to, to be name. available. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's they not. If she's not available it. or doesn't want to do the project, you know, that's not helpful. Yeah. So there's not that many Asian star female stars that they can put in that role. Do you think with um, them coming out with and and I see your point, don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. but do you think with the anime being as popular as it was and then going for the anime base, but trying to introduce it to a larger audience uh, with enough hype, with enough um, good promotional material, they could have brought somebody a um, from out of Hollywood, somebody from overseas to, to play the part? Uh, they could have. But like I said, you have Black Widow. Who have, has just you know come off of several movies? Oh yeah, I mean the interest was there. The <laughs> and you have a lot of interest, and a lot of people just went to see the movie just because she was in it. You know, true that, enough. That was, yeah. uh, a friend of mine. Only reason why he went to go see the movie is because Scarlett Johansson was in there. Star Crush, and she, <laughs> <laughs> and she was in a bodysuit, skin tight right? bodysuit. So he was going to go see that. <laughs> so that that was his whole reason to go see the movie. He enjoyed it. So oh, to, I, the I, diehard, yeah, I... to the diehard fans, you know, yes, it was whitewashed. Yes, it was watered down. It was the story was changed and everything. They condensed it down to a very small thing. And they've they've done that. Hollywood has done that with a number of things. I, I we we won't even True. talk about Avatar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please no. Well, I mean, please no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just we'll just breeze right past that. Okay. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Not Avatar like the blue people. Uh, the, the last Avatar, airbender. The last, yeah, the last airbender. airbender. He's, he's like, <laughs> I was sitting going, no, wait, we'll talk about Avatar. <laughs> oh no, 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 not that one. But I mean, there's <laughs> lots of the Dragon Ball, the mo- Dragon Ball movie. Oh God, yeah, that was another really oh. bad one. Oh. The, uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a Dragon Ball fan to begin with, and I actually watched that movie hoping that it would spark an interest, <laughs> interest. in the anime. And I watched it, and I was like, "Yeah, no, this ain't gonna do." It. We had the Street Fighter movie. Oh man! Oh uh, well, the, yeah. Speaking of Van Dam, <laughs> that that was awful. Uh, so I mean, you have all these shows out there that yeah, was, Holly- uh, Hollywood has done it wrong a lot. <laughs> Um, the, um, the Japanese yep. market ha- or I guess Netflix has got to get some credit for their original, whatever, whatever. Yep. Um, but they're, Good. they're starting to do some, I, I don't know well, if I want to say better, um, but definitely taking a different approach in hopes that it'll, it'll catch. Well, the thing is, is that Netflix can produce a show and put it out on their platform. They don't where as a movie, office. they have to sell that. Yeah, they you don't know? need to have the box office. Yeah, Netflix. Like the moment they need to have a box office sale, they they're gonna do everything to get that sale. Yeah, in there. Right. So it they costs have a money. lot more money to get it into box office. Wait a minute, the- Cowboy Bebop has a live action. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't watch it yet though. Okay, yeah. well I'm not gonna get any well, sleep. You <laughs> have Leech has a live action now. Yeah, we're, and gonna, really we're, we're gonna be talking about that. We're gonna be talking about that. <laughs> Full well, Alchemist has a live action now. Yep. Again, I, I got to the point where the Chimera was there, and I was just like, "Nope, no, I can't do this anymore." Like, Rob, <laughs> shut up. Rob, shut up. <laughs> we talk about it later. Yeah, th- those are coming up. Those are coming up. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Oh, still in the making. Okay, cool. I'll, but, uh, you know, I'll definitely be checking that out. Yeah. Um, okay, so for my number three, 
this is probably this may or may not take Rob off because I think he may have it in his at least in his top <laughs> ten. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist is in my third spot. Okay. Um, and specifically the Brotherhood version. Okay, I liked them both, but specifically the Brotherhood series. Yeah. Um, for me, that it went a little bit more in depth. Um, the 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 storyline seemed to be a little bit more rounded out. Then uh, didn't the other one come out first? Brotherhood came out second. Yep, yeah, they re-edited it to uh, make the story more coherent. That that would make uh, that would make sense then, because I think the, I, it worked for me. They, they they streamlined the story more and had more relevant uh, story to it. And for me too, if if I'm remembering right, because it's been a while since I actually watched either. <laughs> um, the, the, the animation for me, the, um, the art of the animation was better. Mm -hmm. My personal opinion. Yeah. Um, now that being said, um, what did y'all think of the movie? I have not seen the movie. Ooh. Uh, let's see for uh, the movie, the live action on Netflix. Yeah. I I liked it. it. Had really great effects. Like I said, I got to you know I've already seen it twice with you know Full Metal Alchemist, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. So watching it a third time was kind of like uh, it's great, but I've already been through. A, I've lived through five Spider-Man reboots. So it's kind of like, you know, doing a reboot on Spider-Man again. Really? Do I want to go watch this again? <laughs> no, and I, I get that. I get that. Um, but how do you think they did? Um, or did you watch it? I, I watched most of it. Uh, okay. Like I said, I got to a certain point and I just decided to turn it off. But uh, this is this is an old story. I already know how it ends kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, so. I went ahead and watched it all the way through because... Even even then, now, when it first came out, I knew that I was going to be doing this podcast, but I didn't know that I would be actually covering anime as part of the overall podcast. Um, I wanted to watch it, and I did watch it all the way through uh, for the sake of how well did they do with bringing the animation, uh, forgive me for hitting the microphone there, the animation to live action. Mm -hmm. um, and I think in my opinion, they, they did a good job, especially with the younger yep. brother. Yep. I think they did a really great job with their special effects and everything. It, the, what they can do now in computer generated effects and things is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right. Now round well, getting into our, we're, we're one away from our, our top pick. Okay, so this uh, is number two. You know, yeah, this would be number two, so, yeah. Denta. Okay. Yeah, since, since I did a mistake, you got to be over <laughs> since, since you got an extra pick. <laughs> yeah, uh, Denetsu, no, you shall know Denetsu. The Legend of Legendary Heroes. The Legend okay. of Legendary Heroes. Legendary Heroes. heroes. Yeah. Okay. So it's again with an overpowered character, but uh, you cannot really control it. And it goes into like a in a rage mode like it's it's the one thing i like just people that like are powerful or going to like a rage mode without controlling themselves but also anime is like a little, a little bit of uh politics like in kingdom politics there's like shadowy figures working in the background mystery monsters and stuff like that dragons weapons nations that are working against each other you got uh people that have special abilities that have, that you do not know what they are, then there's like a, a wrench in some of those people that have actually builds that nobody ever hear it off, but they're like dangerous as fuck. Okay, so mm -hmm. I would say it's it's a fun, it's a really fun watch. Like one of the most, well, one of the enemies I enjoyed the most together with like my other top ten, and yeah. I would say, like, because it's like action, adventure, magic, fantasy, shonen. Oh, all of my favorite things rolled in one. <laughs> <laughs> all yeah. right. It's, it's a little bit older, and I'm, I know a lot of people are not going to think the same thing we, I did. 
But we don't use that, that word. <laughs> older. <laughs> yeah, older. We don't use that word. <laughs> okay, so oh. it's around 2010. It's nine it, years we, old. We use the word classic. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's, but it's not classic yet, though. It's not that old. <laughs> <laughs> um, well no, aged yeah well aged like yeah. a fine wine it's uh i'll be yeah, de I'll so. definitely be checking it out then uh, okay. yeah i'm i'm if y'all don't think i'm making notes here i've got my top 10 and mm. then i've got 11 12 13 so yeah, yeah i'm putting in podcast chat also um, mike just something completely else do you allow people to join your discord that follow the podcast or is it the, the... yeah let me uh let me get a, a link here. Um, I'll, I'll 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 work on that as I'm talking here, okay. as Rob's talking. Okay. Rob, you get okay. to you get to throw in your your All additional right. switch My out pick here. One. All right, so oof. <laughs> so I'm gonna swap up on number two pick, right? Because. One of my other picks was you know in line here, but since we're skipping that one, I'm going to go back and pick it. Um, so when I first started getting into anime and figuring out what anime was, uh, Macross, Macross Plus was a big influencer on me. Robotech for people who saw the American version of it. And that was a huge anime for me. Big giant transforming robots that transfer into planes, huge space battles, a romance amongst this, and music to go with it. It was uh, really good, and it still continues to today. Robotech S. Macross is uh, mm -hmm. still being done. It was just had a new season uh, two a year ago, I think it was two years ago. So. Macross would be one of the series that I really, really enjoy. And is it how is it spelled? Macross. M A C R O S. I think so. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, bear with me just a second. And for those of you who are watching on, um, just a, a side note here on Twitch. Um, I will be editing this, taking out some of the silences, any, you know, bumps mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. And I'll be posting it onto YouTube as a, uh, a video as well as a slightly edited video. And then from there, the audio will be grabbed and put out an uh, audio form on iTunes, et cetera, eventually. Um, so there's, there's always a chance of, of rewatching it or watching an yep. edited version of it later. Um, bear with me just a second. I'm still working on getting this invite thing. Okay. Because I have a, a non-expiring link for the Discord. And I'll throw uh, it You probably want an expiring one in there. Not if I'm, I'm going to be posting a link to uh, just invite okay. people to the Discord in general. Okay. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Why are you doing there that? It is. Uh, Uh, let's see, back to that. Let's see if it'll let me throw a link up here. There we go. All right, did that pop up? Yes, it did. It did. Okay, the, the PC that, or the uh, laptop that I'm doing it. it <laughs> scroll for whatever reason in chat so we've already passed where I can see if it's okay. posted or not. Yeah, no problem. We got yeah. you covered. Okay. Uh, let's see. So Mac Mac is it Macros or Macross? Macross. Okay. Yep. So you got Macross Plus, Macros? Macross 7. Uh, there's a lot of different versions of it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. For my number two pick, um, I know this one's going to pick Rasp Gardoff. 
piss Russ Park off. I, I know uh, it is. No, don't piss me I, off. I I'm just going to be like, oh, okay. I'm, I'm because done. because it, it's already been mentioned pre-show. Okay. In my number two spot, I got to go with Sword Art Online. Okay. Um. And that I don't is know because, why that would piss me off. <laughs> like, okay. Because, well, for the same reason that I picked your number two spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I grew up in a in a in a day and age where we didn't have computer games. We had <laughs> we had paper and dice and pencils. <laughs> <laughs> and then then computers Tabletop came out. Tabletop gaming. <laughs> and and I was a PC geek. I was building my own computers and all that good stuff. They had and, uh, and now VR is becoming a thing. Um, so Sword Art Online really kind of rolled all of my Dungeons and Dragons, you know, all playing all of that with friends, you know, in my high school years and and beyond, you know, even so recently. Um, and the the whole computer thing, and now VR is becoming more viable, where you're not, you know, running around with a fifty pound weight on your forehead. Um, it it rolled all of those into one, and I was like, ooh, that would be so cool, but not in that case <laughs> kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that I would really like losing, what was it, a year or two years or four years or whatever it was, <laughs> you know, hooked up to an IV. Um, but just the ability of being able to virtually go into a game and mentally controlling my avatar, I think that would be fun as heck. So, yeah, that's my number two. And even moving forward, uh, the second season where they had the new safer game, uh, safer game. We're going to kill online and another no, one. No, that was not. And I can't tell if I'm live or not. Yep, yep. you're live. You're live. Okay. All right. Had a bit of a break there. My PC crashed. Um, I will end up re-editing this uh, all into a single video. And I'll, you can upload to Twitch, right? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, so I'll, I'll upload it as a single video for uh, future viewers. <laughs> without all the crashing. Yeah, without all the crashing. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so that was... That was our number two pick. Uh, well, oh, actually, it was who's who, That was your number two. So we're at the top one. Yeah, Denta, um, what is your number one pick? Well, I had trouble between Cowboy Bebop and this. It's called. I'm gonna butcher the name. German Gun. It's like the was it the the shit? I forgot the translation. <laughs> the Sky Snake or something. It's from like Sky Snake. Okay. No, not, that's not the translation. That's like the meaning of German guns. If I'm not mistaken, okay. it's like a mythological beast. That is, uh, well, mm -hmm. let's see. Uh, let's see. Meaning, real quick. German guns. Old Norse great beast is called Midgard Serpent. He's a snake of a dragon or dragon who lives in the ocean that surrounds Midgard, the visible world. Yeah, Loki's son. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. So it's actually an anime about an arms dealer that takes in a kid soldier, and okay. they kind of travel the world and do arms deals. And actually, that's it's a heavy, heavy action-packed anime, but then with more real-life stuff like guns, technology, um, your information at work, her own crew, her older brother, her family. Um, her enemies that are other arms dealers that she's doing a race against, and like all a little bit political, like she's selling to. Yeah. Sorry about Mike. Please tell me I'm still mm -hmm. online. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, there You're still here. okay, so, uh, well, it's kind of she, well, she deals with the government, she deals with terrorist organizations and all that. So it's kind of political. Well, it's just very good action. So the characters get built, you get attached, you see families, enemies, and all that stuff. But yeah, I'm in love with this anime. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. 
Like it's action adventure in Seinen, but I forgot what Seinen means. So does it does it hold up the action? Does it or are there is what am I getting at? Is every episode full of action or is it one of those you oh. got action and then you got a whole bunch of story and then you got action and you almost, got a whole bunch of story? It's almost like there's almost always action because it's she's doing arm arms deals and she or needs to fight her way through there or something goes wrong and they need to fight her way out of there and stuff like that. Sometimes it's a little bit more story. There's, there's like a little bit of conversation, a little bit of comedy in there, but it's mostly action with a good story. Awesome. So, so, so Dense is a action guy. Yeah, I yeah. Well, I can't blame him. I'm, I'm, I'm that guy who would watch. You know, I've, I've seen Commando with Arnold Schwarzenegger a few times because I like action. <laughs> well, well, the see. effects yeah. suck. The storyline is lousy, but it's full of action. So, well, that's like John Wick. You know, <laughs> the storyline well, uh... is, is bad. <laughs> I don't know. See, I really enjoy John Wick. I don't know. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the action is great and everything, but you, the logic and, you know, the storyline, it's like, what? At least in John Wick, when he, he runs out of bullets, he runs right out of bullets, you know? <laughs> True. He's standing five feet from the guy. Why didn't you just put a bullet in him? <laughs> Be- oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it, it it's flashier the other way. It's uh... yeah, exactly. So <laughs> but, he you gives know, him a chance least... to run away when he could have sat there and shot him and disappeared. Nope, nope. He at, had to like fight everything. Wick, you know, people die. It's not like the A team where they never never run out of bullets and nobody ever dies. Yeah. It's it's <laughs> you know at least there's good headshots every three seconds. It's <laughs> as long as he's happy. three feet away. You know he gets a good shot. <laughs> If that normally it's like six <laughs> inches, it's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, he's very, very short sighted, <laughs> <laughs> but that's why that's I was why like, he does you know, it. action for the sake of action, you know, that's great and everything, but you need to have a good story with it, too. Yeah, yeah. um, and then as, as far as alternate universes go, though, John Wick, I think they do it right. Yeah, I mean, the whole you know, <laughs> yeah, continental hotel chain and et, et cetera. Yeah. I mean, um, go ahead. But I, I was sitting there going, you know, okay, it, it's it's interesting. I, I enjoy it for what it is. But, you, you know, yeah. I can if it, if it's full of action, action, If, if you like, can hold on that, I'm all about Jormungandr. Jormungandr. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is... Ooh, that's like, a mouthful. And the thing is, they actually have some... Some the action scenes have, like, good music with it, too. I was, I was about to say something, but I forgot. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well. All right. Um, so we're getting to my yeah, number one. Pick. What is your number you. one pick? Okay. Did I so, it for you? Yes, you did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you, you picked it. So my number one pick is Sword Out Online. Because one is the concept of the anime uh, where you're diving into a virtual world, into mm-hmm. a MMO. And anybody who plays MMO like we do, or games, knows mm-hmm. that you can take that concept and go anywhere with it. Yep. You can go into a fantasy based one. You can go into a futuristic one. You can do this. What I like about it, instead of, uh, you know, they actually have a story outside of the MMO world too. Which ties yes. into the current uh, season that is starting now, and it is you're going through it, and it's connecting the dots all the way back to the very first season. Right now, oh, is that out uh, season, or I should say, what would you they call just it? Had the you... re- they just had the zero episode recap, reminding you what happened last season in the story okay. so far up to this. And what mm-hmm. happened between the last uh, season and this coming season? Now, last season was Gungale, right? Uh, last season was the Gungale, I believe. And they are going into the Soul Translator. Wait, wait, are you okay. sure it was Gungale? So they had Gungale, then they went into the into an other fantasy MO, and then back to Gungale, or? Well, see, that's what I, I, I that's what I was trying to Ooh, confirm because there was the original Sword Art Online, which was the medieval role playing yeah. game where they got yeah. trapped initially. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then there's a second thought, season. Yeah, well, if one has to do a debate on the set timeline, we had to pull up the timeline here, but... Well, I, well, yeah, yeah, the I, thought, I thought the <laughs> second one was when they um, they had opened up the um, the servers, basically, or the, the code yep. for the game to allow people to make different games. Yep, that was the um, And that's the where the fairy tale one. one was, where the, you had the elven or the, the, the fairy, everybody had wings mm-hmm. kind of thing. And then from that, it went into Gun Gale. That's that's how I recall it. From what I remember, right, they had the first season, but it was split up with a long break in between. Okay. The, the uh, episodes. So the first season felt like two seasons because you have after they get out the the uh, the first one, mm-hmm. and then you have them going back into the elf one. No, that was, no, that was not them, by the way. They got uh, iron, iron cred. Okay, let me see real quick. So now I got, like, on my enemy list, they have, like, you can go to the first one and you, like, see the sequel of that and sequel of that and sequel of that, right? Okay. So, so let me see. Episodes here. Uh, let's see. Use heart. No, wait. Uh, that's all. Start here. Use heart. Return. Let's see. What does this return? Okay. Okay. So you, you got... Uh, two months after the end of the original accident incident, let's continue to worry about him. Yeah, okay, yeah, this the girl is had been kept. so. Episode fifteen is like already past the thing, and they are back in the real world, and and uh, also is in the hospital. Okay, so I think that's the fairy thing, then, where yeah. she where she was held captive by her fiance or something like that, was it? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, uh, yeah. So she was in an arranged marriage, and. Uh... He just held her captured, Tiff, and uh, yeah. So that's one yeah. season. So that till the end there. Yeah. Then you go to the second season. Like actually, first an extra edition. Let's see. Yeah, uh, you that, want to the see extra edition was just a recap going into Sword Art Online two. Oh no, it was not hot. It was a beach episode. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's a beach episode. The obligatory but... beach episode. <laughs> well, they're outside in the beach bikinis. He's Kirito's inside, you know, explaining what ha- all the events that happened in Minecraft. Oh, okay. okay, so so it, was, have... it was a recap, but it was a story-driven okay, a recap. recap. Yeah. Okay. okay. And and had, so uh, the, the latest in, in, until the, the recap, or that's yeah. not sorry, not the recap, no. but until the one that's just now starting. Yeah. Um, the most recent full season yeah. was Gun Gale, correct? Okay. So you have, uh, you know, Gun Gale was actually introduced in Sword Art Online 2, though. Yeah. Because that's when, uh, what's her name? Shinnan was uh, introduced. Okay. And that's where, you know, Kirito gets his female avatar <laughs> look. Got yeah. And so stuff. after so after Gun Gale, you have a movie from sort of Arsenal yeah, line. Yeah, Morning Scale, which sure. was really good. Or, yeah, I did not watch it yet. I actually want to watch it. But it I it's really good. And then you got a sequel after the movie, Alicization. Yep. That ran until March thirty first, and now you get a sequel, War of the Underworlds. That's gonna come out. That actually, the first episode came out on the sixth. So Ooh, it's already out so for four days. Recently. Yeah, that's the first episode. So it's now twenty four episodes. That's around twenty five weeks. Yep. Okay. Twenty four so weeks, but more because of Christmas so, and all that. So let's say thirty weeks too. So what weeks. you're telling me is, when we're done with the podcast, I need to go and get my energy drinks because, yeah, <laughs> sleep is out of the question. <laughs> so, <laughs> so seems like it. <laughs> but as far as I can say, the Sword Art Online, uh, War of the Underworld. Uh, the new s- season is starting up here, fall season, and it is an episode zero, so it's a catch up. Okay, but uh, you know, yeah, you but... know, there's spoilers yeah. ahead, so don't want to go yeah. into the story at yeah, this re- point. Recaps are fine, but I think I'm going to go back and I'm just going to binge watch the mm-hmm. whole thing again. Everything, <laughs> yeah. yeah, just go back yeah. and watch everything. You know, enjoy it. Oh. But, you know, this is a new fall season. They have brand new animes coming yep. out this season. Uh, Indeed. 
Yeah, and that's one thing that I want to talk about next week if y'all are available. Um, mm-hmm. That should what, be. Yeah, what series we're enjoying currently and the ones that are coming up. Because, um, mm. yeah, they're and not necessarily favorites per se, but ones that you're currently watching that you're enjoying. Um, okay. Because there, there's a number I know that came out this this last um, summer summer season yeah. um, that I'm enjoying. Uh, just mm-hmm. to name a few, the um, from commonplace to world's strongest is one. Yeah. Um, the um, Demon Lord retry. I'm enjoying that one. Um, mm-hmm. There, there's a there's. A, I'm not going to go Lord. full in depth. Not yeah, me. Overlord yeah. is good. Continuing. Um, How to not to send there, the there demon lord? Them, we'll, we'll talk more about them. Yeah, next week. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, one more question. Yeah, that one. Oh, okay. Should, should we talk about our guilty pleasure anime? I think that that would make a great episode. That's a whole yeah. different podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We won't we won't talk about it today. And uh, but yes, I do think that that's one. You know. Bear your soul. What are you? What do you watch that you wouldn't necessarily admit to your best friend? Kind might, of might have to do some. Might have to do some research on that one. <laughs> well, I already did. I already have a yeah. list of five enemies. More research. <laughs> we has a list of them. <laughs> we're, we're busy researching them here. Yeah, um, exactly. Research. Uh, research. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I guess that leaves it to me for my number one. Now this anime has been brought up uh, a couple times uh, during our discussion today, but it's it's still going to be my number one. It's Bleach. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Yeah, it was when I mentioned that uh, my guilty pleasures were Inuyasha and uh, Roroni Kenshin. Roroni, Roroni, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> macaroni, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but. Mm-hmm. When I was looking for my next anime series to binge watch, this is the one that was recommended to me. And I came in on it, and I think they were in their last season of production um, when I started watching it. And then I actually had to wait for the last... I, I caught up with it where I had to wait the last couple of weeks and and, and wait for them to be released. Um, but the the whole... And here again, it, it's one of those where you have not necessarily an underdog, but a lot of times he was in comparison with the rest of the, uh, for lack of a better term, villains, opponents um, that he was facing. He always had to get that much stronger. He had to get that much better in order to mm. to keep progressing. He had the potential, but he always had to to push it to get there. And I think that's one thing that kept me coming back week after week, or so to speak, episode to episode. Yeah. He, he had to refine himself. He always had the power right. there. He had to refine himself and train up yeah. to mm-hmm. getting that point, yeah. I guess. He, he, Mike, had to, you know, he had to get that next level. But hey, Mike, you know that kind of anime has a, a genre, right? I do, but I don't know the term. Okay, it's shonen. So, like, is that one what piece, shonen Naruto? Means? Yeah, it's like Naruto, oh, One Piece, My Hero Academia, uh, like everything where like there's a kid that does not have any power or almost nothing, and there's like yeah, yeah, actually, has a long that's seasons. That. What do you mean it's not? <laughs> but would would Bleach fall into that that shonen yes. category then? Yes. Okay. Like it's it's like from when you have almost no powers and you become powerful over a long amount of episodes. Gotcha. Okay. That's why also like Shonen Jump has like Bleach and everything, One Piece and all that. Actually, uh, Shonen means it's a teen magazine. No, okay. Not really. Mm. Well, the thing Shonen is actually boy in Japanese, but yeah. most of the time it's, it's the used as a genre magazine, name. It, it's meant for teen boys. Get geared towards that audience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but if you look up but Shonen... But a lot of those like, animes fall into those things. So that's why I'm like, like, that's not exactly what a Shonen is. Well, but, you they, know, well, they, they, they to, have they a lot of those animes, for though, <laughs> for those. I mean, if you look at those, you know, those series, you got My Hero Academia, Naruto, Shonen. One Piece, Shonen. Dragon Ball. Bleach. 
Yeah. Uh, um, like Black Clover. Like it's all shown in another like, good one. I'm going. Yeah, but Fairy Tale is also under that banner. Uh Tarato is under that banner. No. I got I've got two questions continuing on with Bleach. Have y'all mm-hmm. seen the movie? The live action. Yes, I have. Not. Yes, I did. Dented, right. did you say you did or did not? I did not. By choice or action. by availability? I didn't really care. <laughs> okay, so. Like, so by choice. Enough. Like, the only live action movie I've watched was after Last Airbender and Ghost in the Shell. And I regret one of my two decisions are very badly so. I decided <laughs> to not, like, but we like, all fell I, for I, that I, one because we all had yeah. high hopes. <laughs> so, like, after that, I was like, nope, I'm never going to watch live action movie again. But then I heard a lot of things <laughs> about Ghost in the Shell and I didn't watch that. And then I, I did enjoy actually... it. But had the same reservations going into Bleach, right? I was thinking, mm-hmm. man, this is probably going to be bad, but I want to see what they did to it, right? And I went into it, and it was really pleasantly surprised how well it was done. I was pleasantly surprised also. The only issue that I had with it, it was a bad wig. You know, talking <laughs> about live-action movies, though, from animation, that... uh I really said that they canceled. Is the Which, tick? I didn't even know that they were going to make a live action tick movie. Blue was it the tick? They or did Blue two tick? seasons. Two seasons on Amazon, I believe it is. Oh, okay. But uh, they yeah, they, yeah, they just canceled it, and it was like, you know, to be <laughs> honest with you. I haven't watched it. I may give it a shot, but to be honest with you, I was of the impression of why in the hell would they make a, a tick live action? It didn't even do well in comic books. Because it, it, it's just, you know, one of those things you look at and you just go, that's hilarious. Yeah, for me, and, same, and same. I, I get it. I get it. I mean, it, it it's funny. Um mm-hmm. But to me, you know, growing up, I was I was a comic book fan. Um, mm-hmm. My dad was in the in the in the Navy in the military, and we were stationed overseas in Italy. And while we were there, you had your choice of Italian television, which mm-hmm. you know we didn't understand Italian, so that was kind of out the window. Yeah. Um, sure. You had Armed Forces Radio, which generally yeah. played music uh, geared towards the adults yeah. who were overseas, not not the kids. Um, which it wasn't bad music. It was just beyond our era, one that we didn't appreciate as much then as we might necessarily now. Um, or it was talk radio. So that was that was the live entertainment that we had. Um, I had to go two hours away for my orthodontics appointments. I know this is a lot of information, but it's it's reading <laughs> to a point. Um when we would make those out. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, no, this it might be interesting to somebody. Okay, yeah. uh, when we would make those trips, I, I would use my allowance to buy comic books. That's what mm-hmm. where I got my entertainment from, and I had a huge collection at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would get comic books. My sister would also get comic books. I would mm-hmm. get you know your Marvel and DC superheroes. You know your, your X Men, yeah. your, your uh, Justice League. You know both Marvel and DC. Yeah. Uh, my sister would get her Archie comics, uh, Richie Rich, that mm-hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. And and that's where I would put the blue tick or the tick, you know, mm-hmm. that, I put it over in that area. Not that I didn't enjoy them. I just didn't necessarily consider them superheroes or you know, well, superhero comic. Well, the ticks kind of started the same way One Punch Man did. It was a uh, promotional thing that they did for a... Uh, I think it was car sales place, right? And oh. they just wanted to do a little hero thing for it, and they decided to do a meme hero. Somebody who's totally overpowered, but clueless. Gotcha. Okay. So there's a lot of references between the tick and one punch man you can make. Okay. Yeah. I... I, I, I... I can't say that I wasn't curious. I just mm-hmm. haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, now that you brought it up, when I was saying that I didn't know that they had done one, when you brought it up, I, I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. It was over there, wasn't it? So, I it's something to watch there. out. It's, you know, it's something to watch. It's not 
the greatest thing, you know, but it's uh, something out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But I just thought about something. What's that? Because you guys both have sort of online ear top five. Did you guys watch Log Horizon? Log Horizon, yes. Log that Horizon. was another good one. Yeah, it basically, to me, it reminded me a lot of Sword Art Online. It did. I, I, the only thing I would say is that it, Log Horizon feels more like an MMO for me then. Like, well, I mean, you also had, uh, oof, what was that game that came out that inspired an anime? Um, the there's a lot of game that inspired an anime. Yep. Well, they yeah, most, released the most game of them and were anime actually, at the same, <laughs> almost the same time. <laughs> and it's about a, you know, you know, a, you know, people who dug onto MMO and something is happening in the world out there, but. Uh, slash slash hack? Yeah, dot hack. That's what it was. But it's so bad, though. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. But that was like the very, one of the very first ones that came out that yep. we were locked into a, you know, MMO and things are happening in the real world. Yeah. And I, I remember that now, but uh, did, didn't they have like different. I guess kind of them the same vein that uh, Sword Art Online didn't they have like uh, different genres? It was like dot hack something and then yeah. dot hat something else. Yep. Yo. Yep, they did. And they had okay. also have games, but the things the server went very slow and mostly was not that interesting. Yeah, it, it was pretty uh, boring with it. But I mean, if yeah. we want to go back to that, we can go back to like, uh, I think it's like uh, DC Comics, right? Okay. You know, the very first idea of being pulled into a computer. Well, I would say, you know, as far as like videos, movies go, the idea of being pulled into a movie or a, you know, computer would be Tron. Oh, yeah. True. Because that that would be probably the first one I can remember that, you know, a person was pulled into a virtual world. And yep. was trapped there until he fought his way out. True. Yeah. That's true. And that was what, mid eighties? Oh, yeah, mid eighty two. Eighty two. Well the movie. Oh, early eighties, okay. Yes. Wasn't there a book of it too before the movies? Uh, I I don't know if the book I know I remember a book, but I think the book came out after. Well, if you go into books, that's the... never ending story. That's a whole different well, thing. True. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I'm just thinking about the things I know that, you know, you have a person in the real world getting sucked into a a virtual world or book. Yeah, and I know that that definitely has a, a, a term as far as anime goes, um, being sucked into an alternate world or universe. Well, there's a difference. Like, there's a difference between, between game and you, a different universe. Like, it's like yeah. it's getting stuck into a different universe, but not into a gaming world. It's like yeah. a difference. Is it, or is it just a translocation? I think it's I a mean, case of fantasy worlds. I think what okay. what really hooked people on uh, Sword Art Online is the fact that they made it to where you can't just take out the headset and walk out. You True. Know? That was one of the things that they did when they started the series out is that very first episode, hey, if you try to log out, you're going to die. Yeah. So, and if anybody tries to remove you from the, you know, headset, you'll die. You're going to die. Yep. And that put a very... (laughs) And if you die in game, you die for real life. True. That put a... Very, very big uh, penalty on if you die. So you could get be- behind it. Because, oh, let's say they're in a minute. Oh, oh, look, they died. Oh, whatever, they'll respond. Yeah. Wait, wait, Rasp, yep. have you watched Log Horizon? No, I have not. No, okay. Then I will not. Yeah. I, will, I will not say and anything enjoy about it. it. Because I would say Log Horizon has a more, as a scarier thing than just dying. Uh, so. uh. Um. It, it's definitely if you enjoyed Sword Art Online, give it a watch because it is good. Like I would say, like I like Log Horizon more than Sword Art Online because it gives you more of a memo feel. But then also more, more mystery and more like economics based instead of just it's a game. Like actually, I would. I had actually, I had actually forgotten about that one. But I would, I would have to. <laughs> 
tie it with Sword Art Online. It would that would be a, a tied spot there. Mm. But one of the things that you know is brought up about you know the fact that they go back into Ironcrad and people are like, why would you ever go back in there? You know, if you were stuck there for an entire year and you were stuck, you know. Yeah, people would Why would you go PTSD back? going back, yeah. Yeah. And we have uh, you know, MMOs we play now that you know we have and at the time we've had you know bad experiences and stuff and like that, but we enjoyed the time. Uh one of the big things that we've just had is City of Heroes come back. And we have a lot of people coming back to that game. Even though it's out of date, the animations are bad, the game kind of chunks along. But we still go back into the game because we enjoy that world. The people who are, you know, who are stuck in Uncred, they had a whole year to enjoy that world, become part of them. You know, there's, uh, what is the... There is a term that is used Stuck for people. Home. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Exactly. That's exactly it. Um, they get to the point where that becomes their their reality, yep. and they adjust to it, and they end up preferring it almost. So I I, I can see that. Yep. Yeah, and that's where a lot of this is, and a lot of this is tying into the uh, new series too. So it's very interesting. They've played the seeds. Uh, let's see if you know how they fill them. You got to think um, both Log Horizon and Sword Art Online, because um, if I'm not mistaken, they came out fairly close to each other. Yeah, I think um, the same year. Log okay. Horizon, I think a year after, like half a year after, a few months after. Sword and that Online. was during the, the heyday of your your medieval uh, MMORPGs. Um, you know, yeah, but Sword Arts was like, well, Log Horizon was under dog because Sword Arts was so hyped. Yeah, like, so ask um, me, like, but it, it, what I'm getting at is it's, it appealed to the audience who were one A into anime true. and also into games like WoW, um, EverQuest. Yeah. Um, MMOs. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, but not just MMOs, but your well, fant- you know, the fantasy medieval MMOs. fantasy, yeah, based. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fantasy themed MMOs with player driven economies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which is one reason why I think I'm liking that uh, Ara Ferretta uh, from Commonplace to World's Strongest. Um, be, uh... Same, same basic premise only you're not getting sucked into a game you're getting sucked into an alternate world, world. world that's yeah and you have uh you know talking about that you got uh re-zero life from zero star uh zero i think it is re-zero uh, the guy yeah. who gets supported and is got gets killed over and over and over again that guy yeah, yeah, yeah. he <laughs> sits there and gets teleported into this fantasy realm and at each point of the story, he gets put into a new save point, so to speak, right? And he goes through, makes mistakes. It's kind of like Groundhog's Day. Oh, geez. Except over Jeez. and over and over again at different points that of the story. Like one I'd like. <laughs> what, what is this one called again? What? Uh, Re Zero. zero. Uh, no, Re no, Zero. Re Dull Point Zero. You'll get it. Yeah. Okay. Wait, yeah, how was the movie called again with uh, the guy from Mission Impossible? With what? Like, yeah. there's a movie Tom, with the guy from with with the guy from Mission Impossible that he has like to do Tom Cruise. Like, aliens. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, to- tomorrow? No. Um, yeah, something tomorrow. I think. Uh, oh. That was good too. I I love the the. Edge of Tomorrow. Where he keeps trying to... Yeah. Mm-hmm. So just think Edge of Tomorrow, but then in a fantasy world with a guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like awesome. Same concept. With, with a harem. <laughs> same concept. Only, a, only I think the enemy got overhyped, so if you do not know about the hype, you probably think it's good. But, yeah. yeah. 
I see a lot of five hour energy and monster in my my <laughs> near future. <laughs> but you okay. know, this is this is my opinion on my list, and there is many, many other animes that I enjoy. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and you you should have um for those of y'all watching in the future, you should have heard their our previous discussion. Uh, this has been a topic I've been mentioning to these guys for the last couple of weeks. And and as soon as I said pick your top ten, they were like, Oh, oh, ten. Uh no, yeah. definitely it's fine because I'm I had to make top tens before, but <laughs> Like for I, me, uh, it's really hard because you know you're combining forty years of watching anime, trying to narrow that down. And you know, certain animes nowadays wouldn't be very good, but oh, definitely. at the time, it was great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, there's, Speed there's Racers. Always... <laughs> it was one of those. Speed Racer. Yeah, we talked about that pre-show, and I think it might have gotten brought up at some point during the the mm-hmm. show today. Um, yeah, that came out, and I want to say sixty six, sixty seven, maybe sixty eight, something something like that. Uh, um, but I mean, and be, and I oh. didn't even realize. I always always thought that that was an American made cartoon until recently, um, mm-hmm. when I discovered that it was. I think in Japan it was just called um, Racer X or something like that because it was. It yep. Titled after his brother, as opposed to to Speed himself. Oh, I think Speed Racer also has a cartoon that is made in America, though. The yeah, original actual animation. The like, original yeah, one was like an 1966. No, it has an anime, but later on, it actually got made in America as a cartoon. Also. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, yep. gotcha. It was an anime, and then it got re re uh, Americanized. I would say. Yep. In like uh, like Transor Z did, Transformers, a lot of these other, you know, things were Americanized to make be more American friendly. Yeah. Like you gotcha. had Speed Racer the next generation with very bad C- CGI. <laughs> <laughs> and also, and it was, uh, I believe yeah, it was uh, Mot Go Go Go. go. <laughs> Originally I think it was Mot Go 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 was the uh, original series name. Yes, yes. And that's what it was. Because it was uh, originally done by uh, uh, the, but uh, Nick Loney picked it up in 2002. Yeah. That's Pete Racer X. Mm-hmm. That's Pete Racer X generation. But we we uh, yeah, we I had new, new ventures of Speed Racer, uh, the next generation. Uh, we had a yeah. lot of them. <laughs> Here, I'll put it, I'll put a video in. We we look at we look chat. at it now and it's like wow really, but at the <laughs> time it was great. Sailor Moon was another one that was uh really really big in you know the day. It yep. was a when it's fresh broadcast. Now it probably wouldn't do very very well. But yeah, now now the um the animation in anime has come. It's, so it's been refined, though. I'll put it that way. It's been refined. Um, mm-hmm. it, yeah, it's become more more eye pleasing. Uh, I don't know if it's eye pleasing. Um, I mean, like, the versus computer versus hand drawn. You know, some of the anime from the you know past was really great hand drawn. But that, I think that, that is fair. true. At yeah, the moment, I think like, too many anime characters look the same. Like, yeah. everything, like, I would say before 2010, everybody had, like, their own style. Like, I know the quant- like the quantity of anime went up by hundreds, if not thousands, a mm-hmm. year, but still. Like, the amount of characters that look the same, even, like, the more popular anime, it's, it's kind of getting bad. Yeah, for, I mean, for me, the 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 distinction between an older anime and one, say, done in the last uh five to ten years. Um the older anime always ha- seemed to have their faces faces squished one way or the other. It was either you know well, they either had long thin faces or shorter fat faces. Hmm. And that, it was all down to you had different really art styles at that point too. Yeah. This is true. Whereas now you have pretty much one anime style that is anime 
as people and then say. And the CGI that, put, yeah. that they put into the animation. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, Here's your base model. Put the hair on it kind of thing. But we also have China now putting out their own animation. True. Yeah. W- w- what is it? Uh, one with um, the pro player. Mm-hmm. Shit. Oh, the anime with the pro player. Uh, I, I can't I think can't, of it. It's an anime, and uh, it's about pro gamers. And one guy gets kicked out of his pro team, but he wants to make a comeback. And it's like a story about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, that sounds familiar. Almost like a recent story. Ah, uh, yeah. That's just uh, <laughs> interesting right there. <laughs> but, I mean, you have... Uh, we were Actually, oh. me and Denta were uh, debating something about uh, Samurai coming out. Samurai okay, Jet. So, that's a that's, uh, cartoon. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you know, we were talking about the different animation styles between the first one and the oh new yeah reboot coming out. So Samurai Samurai Jack was a cartoon by Cartoon Network, and it was hand drawn because it was from 2002, I think, around 2006, seven, I think, might be a little bit shorter. But mm-hmm. they made a fifth season back, I think, 2017, and everything from the first four seasons was hand drawn, and everything. From the fifth season, it came out in the last two years. It's all digitalized, and you do see a difference for, 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 well, from it. So yeah, it's kind of a difference that you still feel. Well, you still and see, but it's not too much. Jack. Yeah, Samurai yeah. Jack. Okay, probably one of the best cartoons ever made. Yeah, I've heard you talk <laughs> about it before, and I've, I've uh, again, that's one that I've been aware of. Um, but never did get around to watching like Cowboy Bebop. Everybody talks about how great of an anime yeah. it is, and I've just never gotten around to watch it. I need to buckle down. But then again, I, you know, I'm the same guy who's tried to watch Dragon Ball like 20 times and can't get but past almost about enough, six episodes. I'm also not a fan of one piece of Dragon Ball, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I'm thinking about just starting with Dragon Ball Z, and then if it did, because that seems to be the one that most people talk about when they talk dragon ball they don't necessarily talk about the the old the pre years yeah actually you know i i prefer dragon ball uh dragon ball z was actually a hard watch at first especially through the mid mid part of the uh series around the cell saga oh god Uh, frieza (laughs) and cell was like pulling teeth to watch this I'll see, and then none of that makes any sense to me because I haven't seen it. So, <laughs> well, it, it was the meme of, "Oh look, we are, he's powering up for this attack." Three episodes later, still powering <laughs> up for this attack. I but hate wasn't those the same thing with anime? <laughs> yeah, like wasn't the, the same thing with the original Dragon Ball though? Nope, nope, no. that wasn't it for the original Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball okay. uh, GT and Dragon Ball Super. Uh, the new uh, Super one is a lot better. And okay. the movie, uh, the Super Saiyan God movie was really good. Uh, but the later part of Z was, got better because they realized that they were losing viewers left and right because that all that filler was long. driving people yeah. away. Because why am I going to watch this? It's just the same thing. For this week, this week, that's what that's what drove me away from One Piece. When then I was gonna say, One Piece is infamous for having five, six straight episodes of recap leading into yep. filler. Yeah, <laughs> filler for yeah. You know, when you can skip fifty episodes and still only be ten minutes later in the story, <laughs> <laughs> something is wrong. Yep. Yep. I, I think they like, re, they sped it up this past uh, this current run, but uh, it, it's it's definitely one of those things that's like, no, no, I, I'm I'm gonna pass. <laughs> like, I'm like I would say Gintama is the only anime I have on my top twenty that is has a lot of episodes because even like it you can't really call it filler because it's actually a comedy show that sometimes gets into an arc story. That is serious, and then it goes back to comedy, so you cannot really call it a filler, if you know what I mean. But first, like Naruto, uh, what was it again? Shit, uh, 
Hitman Reborn, uh, Bleach, and all Ooh, the Hitman Reborn. Really I like. forgot about that one. That, <laughs> that one might have made it into my top ten. <laughs> There's so, so many that you can sit there and put in. So yeah, See, but, like, but that uh, is exactly the reason why I didn't go to a list to say, okay, yeah, that one and that one. I had I, I just pulled it out of my head because I knew I was just going to confuse myself if I tried to do that. <laughs> well. Seth, yeah. that's why I went to go look at the list because I was like, you know, I would have definitely put this one over this one, but I didn't remember that right at the time, you know? Yeah. Well, things like, like I said, like, Kintama is the only one I put in there because it basically has no filler, and I'm satisfied all around, but with other enemies that take a long time, it's always filler that are boring, so I do not like to put them in my top 20. Because sometimes with Naruto, I just, like I never skipped any like any episodes, but sometimes there's like ten to fifteen m filler. It's so irritating. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All righty. Uh, well, guys, I think that uh, that's a good place to to wrap it up as far as the podcast yeah. goes. Yeah, you got about um, two hours of uh, content here to get, to get down. <laughs> yeah. I gotta gotta boil it down here. Um, for those on Twitch, uh, if you're watching this in the future, if you happen to come across this particular video, uh, which is going to be, I guess, like the third one, because I tried to do well, actually second one because the first one aired out in the middle of a countdown. Um, I'm going to be adding the two videos together to make a single watch video, um, and so you'll be able to watch that in its entirety. Uh, for those of y'all who want to revisit it later, maybe a slightly edited version. Uh, it's going to be on uh, YouTube. Uh, it's youtube.com slash fantasy fiction files and the number one. I uh, couldn't get just the straight up name, so that's where it'll be. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next episode. Guys, if you can join me next week, um, I would like to talk about our favorite animes of the current time frame uh over the summer season and uh okay. anime we're looking forward to going into the fall season here okay so is Sound that like just plan? new animes period or is that you know continuing ones from like it can be know, no yeah it can be continuing animes okay. uh yes. you know, yeah anime yeah. that we are currently watching or looking forward to kind of thing. Like, well, you know, like, three. because <laughs> like you know sort of online is continuing on but it's yep, not and exactly and that, new is, that is anime. A, Perfectly viable choice, yes. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, okay. Well, thanks again for joining us, and we will see you next week. I'm uh, going to try to start right around the same time, um, going Eastern time uh, in the United States. It would be around 1 p.m., um, between 12 and 1 p.m. Uh, so keep an eye out for that, and uh, we will see you next week. <laughs>